And generative AI, obviously, is something everybody's talking about. I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that what gets you into a role like yours is not necessarily what helps you to succeed in that role. When you think about um, what your current mission is and what advice you have to other, you know, CIDOs, whoever's in sort of that those leadership roles, what have you learned um, is important in terms of where you put your priorities? Yeah, um, well, we need to know where we can make a difference. If we leverage technology, where are the customer uh, pain point or where we can truly add value uh, to uh, the customer? And we need to start to focus from there. But doing that, that is a top-down approach is not enough. As a uh, technologist, you need to stay relevant. So from a top-down approach, and also you need to do bottom-up at the same time. Stay uh, current, stay relevant, to understand the technology trend, what is happening in AI. AI is not only about generative AI. There are so many different branches. What cloud uh, um, uh, technology can do for you, for us, and data. So know the, tech, the possibility of new emerging technology can provide and then combine with a top-down strategic approach on where we can truly focusing on. So by top-down and bottom-up, then I think doesn't matter what is the environment is changing, so you will able to find where you should be putting your energy uh, uh, at to, to make a difference. Let me end by asking what is on your radar that you would put on ours Eric's, in terms of what's exciting, what's around the corner, um, or even some of the pain points that you want to address? Yeah, um, definitely for insurance, I think uh, IoT is one of them, and we spend a fair bit of effort in internet of things. So that is a sensor, uh, uh, so capture relevant information uh, and insight to for ourselves and for our customer. And AI, definitely. AI is not... a uh, uh, some of it is providing, give, getting, um, assisting us to enable us to do things a lot easier, faster, more efficient. So, and then of course it will provide additional insight for us too. So AI, IoT, cloud, of course, is a core foundation to enable us to do everything in between. So very often I call it the ABCD. So I started slightly uh, twisted it a little bit. So A is for uh, artificial intelligence. B, in this case, I'll call it big data. And then it's a power by a cloud, cloud technology. And then at, at the end of the day, with all these, you need to do digitalization or digital transformation uh, across uh, to, 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 to tackle things uh, uh, end to end. So in a nutshell, ABCD will be the... I would be remiss not to add an S to your ABCD because I think sustainability has been a big push for Zurich. Mm. I don't know if you want to say anything about that because especially the whole realm of risk and... and yeah. Well, of course, th this is something that we need to deal with. Uh, this is uh, happening and uh, and Zurich is a uh, very... Uh, uh, fo uh, focused on uh, three areas, investment, sustainability, uh, underwriting sustainability and also operation sustainability. And my focus I will comment on is the operation sustainability. We already have uh, committed uh, to reduce the carbon footprint uh, by 60% by, uh, in 20, by 2025. By 2030, we will 100% offset our, our uh, CO2 emission. So there's, of course, there's a lot of things to be done. And then what something that uh, digital transformation or digitization, of course, help from this uh, as, as straightforward, simple as a paper consumption to provide uh, our employees remote working opportunities, which is uh, expedited by the COVID uh, um, uh, 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 pandemic, so that we with less traveling, less flying, less commuting, that is already helping. And then some of this down to a bit um, core to ourselves on the technologists. How can we even optimize our electricity consumption better? 
even though we are already using all renewable energy. So some of our data center, which consume a fair bit of our electricity, how can we make them more efficient? So our London data center is already PUE is a, a bit below 1.2, which is already is a very, very, very uh, optimized. But with all these, uh, we can offset, uh, we, we still cannot be completely eliminate. So then we can do uh, offset by um, working with different startup, different company on carbon removal. So, and we have already worked with a number of company in this space, like um, Climeworks is one of them. So there, there are plenty of things that we are doing and learning. We're learning and doing at the same time in the uh, sustainable operation space.